Intaglio printmaking refers to a process of ink uh, that is image area being recessed in the pits or pores of the plate, which is the exact opposite of relief printing or what you may be commonly known as woodcut or linoleum block printing or lino cut. Lino cut, you're removing the white or non-image areas, whereas in intaglio, we are removing material or metal for the image areas. So they are functional opposites of one another. Deborah Bell has used a process called spit bite, which is a process of applying acid directly to the plate with a brush, typically, or it could be done with rags, or it could be poured or dripped down the surface of the plate. And the acid will eat the surface of that plate with little pits and holes. Those little pits or holes will hold ink. Dry point as a process is a scratching or moving of the metal, not a removal of metal. Etching as a process removes metal. So in this case, when the surface of the metal is scratched, it raises small bits of metal up referred to as a burr. That burr can hold ink underneath it, which gives dry point a characteristic fuzzy quality. By forcing the ink down into the plate like this, I'm ensuring that I get an ink up underneath every single burr and down into each pore of the plate. A dry point mark has a characteristic fuzzy quality because of the burr that is raised when the plate is scratched. And it is up to the artist to help communicate just how fuzzy they would like those lines to look. As a printer, we can adjust the amount of ink that is being held within those burrs to reflect the quality of printing that they're going for. If they want the line to be heavy and soft and fuzzy, or if they want it to be lighter, grayer, and more crisp. These are conversations that we have, and as this process has gone on, you'll notice there's been a lot of conversations that have been had. Communication is the key to a successful print collaboration, of artists being able to communicate what they would like, and a printer being able to communicate back what is possible. Process of proofing is two things. One of the things it's doing is helping us as printers understand the plate and how it needs to be wiped. And the other aspect of proofing is it allows the artists to see what it is that they have so they can start to communicate to us as printers what they would like to have happen if that's not actually what's happening on the plate. So it provides the basis point for us to have a conversation about the technical and the conceptual if they're merging in the correct way to achieve the final result that the artist is looking for. Being that the artist is typically not a trained printer, there's obviously a lot of reliance on their technical expertise. And this becomes a very personal relationship. And the artist typically would have to allow the printer into their own personal creative space for them to help them fulfill their creative vision. So the role of the collaborating printer is not just simply technical, it's also in a lot of ways a creative support staff. And our job as collaborating printers is to help our artists be more clear in what it is they're trying to communicate and as a result we have to be able to be clear in our communications with those artists.